What's up, YouTube? It's Kevin Walford123. Um, I finally fitted the 7 inch screen where the clock surround goes. Um, the old surround was, um, well, you can Google it for yourself a Mark II Dash 1, a tiny little clock space. Um, I tried a different clock in it, and even though it said it run 12 volt, the clock didn't like it and just decided to explode. Um, so that went in the bin. And there was nothing else I could find. I don't really need a clock because, you know, you got a clock on the actual. Um, LCD screen, so I thought, you know, let's go with the LCD, so um, Dan Pritchard, one of the guys who's on the forums, he's um, done the same thing himself, so I thought, you know, I'd have a go myself, um, fiberglassing it, uh, got the surround for the 7 inch and, you know, fiberglassed it in, uh, built it up and um, smoothed it. Um, uh, as you can see, my boost cage is now sitting loose, the reason being is because as in previous videos you might have seen, it's got a cowl that covers it so that you can see it in the day. Whereas the ones on here, you don't need it because they're out of the light. Um, I can't find that cowl because it took so long to do this. I left these bits on the side. And as most people know, when your partners clean up for you, they tend to lose things. And when you ask where it is, they say, we well, should have tied it up yourself, which is true. But anyway, so um, I've been really sick with anxiety issues. And um, I thought it was food poisoning, but it turned out it was due to anxiety. Um, so today I feel quite good. And this turned up, so I thought I'd fit it. Um, the problem was I put the uh, flocking on myself I had a go at it and flocked it and it was rubbish in the kit but don't buy an eBay kit it's cheaper to just get it done by a pro um, the guy that did this ended up charging me 50 quid which is a lot because normally you'll probably get a couple of door cards done for 50 quid but he had to take off all the old flock and take it back to you know square one which was a bastard he said it took two and a half hours to sand it so I don't mind paying the money because you know I fucked it up myself so um so yeah, I fitted it, wired it in, uh, had a bit of issue with the wavy lines on the screen, uh, dodgy RCA connection, so changed it over for a amp version, and uh, it seems okay. Now, this is quite dirty at the moment, it's all dusty because of um, all the car needed to clean, so as I've been fitting it and touching it, I've covered it in, I mean I've got crap all over my hands here from going in the garage and getting tools and stuff, but yeah, because it uh, sticks to the flocking really tedious so it needs hoovering but the car needs a wash anyway i'm not up for it today so i'm going to wash the car and then i'll hoover it properly how you're supposed to and you're done so i was going to wire it in with some sort of games consoles looking at some aftermarket games consoles you know retro mega drive and that without getting the whole big systems maybe some sort of emulation you know on the go so while you're driving your passenger can play games and stuff like that but i ended up just wiring it straight into the extrons um so i've got two screens there and I was in the progress of fitting one in the back as well there, but um, I ordered a surround like you get around the stereo uh, to fit the gap I've cut out. And it is fucking huge, so I'm, well, when I feel a lot better, I'm going to have to cut it down to size, fit it, smooth it, and then uh, fill it so it fits perfectly, glue that down, and then that'll be an LCD in the back for the passengers as well. Um... That's pretty much it. There's not much for the car I've done because I've been really sick and not spent a lot of money. And um, well, so I thought I'd show you anyway. So that's that done. I think it's pretty sweet. Um, it's going to be dirty under the hood. Still need to fit my door uh, covers. I've got the Dark Eyes Designs uh, bonnet struts, as you can see on the left and right there. Um, Surprisingly, it's quite clean under there for the amount of time it's been sitting on a drive and the rain and all that. Um, I do think I'm going to get rid of the oil catch tank because that is a bastard. It, it likes to move around and to make a bracket for it's such a hassle. So I'm just going to go with a you know a vent or atmosphere pipe, uh, a little filter, and uh, fit that. Uh, that's pretty much it. So yeah, the strut races. I mean the uh, gas struts, as you can see, really sweet. But you have to keep waxing them because. They rust, so you can't barely see it, but fuck it. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to go because I'm jabbering on a lot. So, I'll speak to you later, guys.